Hello, Miguel. Hi. What's up, man? All good? Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. All right. Again, my camera, I don't know what's going on. Hold on. I'm going to reconnect it. So how was work today, man? What do you do for, uh, I think that you already explained that to me, but yeah. what, do you, what is it that you do for, for a living again? Jobless right now. What? Oh, jobless right now? Yep. Oh, wow. Are you looking for one? Or are you just, just, or you just, just chilling for now? Currently, I don't think there's much of a chance to get the one to begin with. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I, I see it. I see it. So, uh, so why did you decide to study English? Well, sort of, I have been doing so like since I was little and uh, I really do want to improve my pronunciation. All right. English. That's good, man. That's good. Um, do you read books in English or things like that? Almost all the books I do yeah, read them in English. All right, one thing that I do is that I don't know why, man. I just I don't Google things in Spanish because I don't feel like there is like you know like like uh, the information. I don't I don't trust the information too much, you know. It, so I I, I I just I just search for most everything. Of the time. Yeah, I most just search for everything in English, you know. Mm -hmm. So what about so so is that something you do as well? Yes, I've thought well movies too in English because well most of the time the jokes are missed in the are lost in the transla translation. Oh yeah, man, that is true. That is absolutely true. Uh, jokes are like very different in Spanish, you know, and and that's mm -hmm. not what they meant. So you, like you have to watch them in their original language mm -hmm. to make sense of them and you have to know you know about you know um their culture as well right if you're watching american yeah. movies you have to know about american culture so you can understand the references all right what about you david hey, so, so what what is it that you do for a living day again i'm working i'm working at uh talk americas oh yeah yeah you told me that you work at talk americas yeah. Uh, is that an English account? Do you work in an English account? Uh, really no, it's in English. But uh, is that in English? Great. It's in a customer service, but it's in Spanish. <clears throat> okay, all right, mm -hmm. and that makes sense, man. All right. Uh, so are you are you planning on moving to uh, an English speaking account? Sure. Have you have you applied already? Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, TP and Sykes. You have applied to uh, TP and Sykes, okay. Yeah. All right. All right, keep 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 it up, man, all right? You'll eventually, you'll eventually get there. All right. Very good. Okay, good. so uh, you're still young, man, so, you know. How, how old are you? 35 years. 35? I thought that you were younger, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> you, look, you look younger, man. You get that a lot, huh? Yeah, you? I uh, I am thirty. Thirty, right? Yes. Yes, uh, yes, yes. I thought you had twenty-five years or something like that. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I I do look like younger, but but no, man, I'm I'm, I'm thirty. I'm gonna be thirty-one in in you know next year, so. <laughs> yeah, old man. Old yeah, man. man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. All right, very good. Okay. Uh, yes, Lydia, it's okay. All right, Daisy. How are you, Daisy? Nice to see you again. How's everything going? Hi, teacher. All right, welcome back. How are you? How was your vacation? <laughs> fine, okay. fine. All right, very good. Okay, I'm glad that you're here. Yeah, I have uh, a problem with my computer and internet. And so I... So you were not able to join? Yeah, yeah but I, I continue the class. Yeah. All right, very good. As long as you finish the platform, that's that's great, okay? Hello, Ellie. How are you? How is everything going? Good. All right. How was work today? 
What? How how was work today? Oh no. Uh, was today it good? was my um my lazy day. <laughs> Your what? My day to to. I'm sorry. I'm so disconnected. Today. Your 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 day off. You my mean? day to to be disconnected. <laughs> okay, your day off. Today was your day off. My day, not really, but my day, my disconnected day. Yeah, I mean, like when you, if you want to say dia libre, right? That's day off. Was it your day off? I can do your homework. But... Okay, right. Don't worry. All right, guys. So, anyways, uh, welcome, guys. Again, glad to see you here. All right, Mr. T, nice to see you again, Mr. T. Oh, well, Mr. T is connecting his audio. Hello, Thomas, how's everything going? Oh, you're muted, sir, you are muted. All right. Hey, good evening. Good evening, good evening, right? Yeah. All right, so how was work, Mr. T? Uh, it's kind of slow, but doing something. At least kept me busy. <laughs> hey, Mr. T, you know, do you know who Mr. T was well actually is he still alive oh, really? no 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 you don't know no why 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 did you name oh, your same it... mr t then because i thought that it was because of him no the the one that i know is dr bean or mr bean i got something like that oh, okay but no mr t is the one from this is the, the black guy that um uh, that appears on on the rocky movie one of the rocket oh. movies. Oh, okay. It's, yeah, it's one like it has like, you know, like his hair is very weird, because he's got he's he's uh like some, you know, like he's he's got a very weird uh, haircut, you know. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, I thought that that's why you know you named yourself. <laughs> your oh All right, no! So don't worry. Okay, <laughs> okay, very good, guys. So we're gonna continue, guys. Um, so let's talk about reduced relative clauses. Okay. So first of all, guys. Um, what are relative clauses? What, what's a clause, by the way? Relative clauses, okay. That wasn't from last time. Okay. All right, guys, so a clause, guys. Okay, when we talk about a clause, we're talking about a sentence, okay? All right, so basically, guys, a, a clause is usually, and this is usually, right? All right, a sentence that contains a subject plus a verb, okay? All right, so this would be a main clause, all right? So a clause, guys, is a group of words. What is it? A group of words. It is a group of words, okay? All right, now, if we're missing, you know, uh, one of the things that make up, that, that make a, a main clause, then uh, that is a dependent clause, right? So if you say, for example, okay, I love, right, or I run, Okay, all right, we need a compliment, right? I love pizza, all right? So if I say I love pizza, guys, this is a independent, all right, an independent clause, okay? Because it makes sense on its own, right? If I say I, 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 I mean, I, I love pizza, I'm sorry, I run pizza. I love pizza if I say I love pizza, right? It is, uh, it makes sense on its own. Now, what if I say because I love pizza? Would you, would you say that this is a dependent or independent clause? Independent. Okay. It is an independent, uh, it is a dependent clause, guys. Dependent, right? Why, guys? Okay, because, okay, it needs, you know, it's, this is like, you know, like, el toxico or la toxica in a relationship, right? They depend <laughs> on the other person, right? If the other person is not there, right, they start crying, okay? So... We don't want this to start crying. We want to find, you know, the dependent clause, a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend, right? So what do you do? Okay. The reason why, guys, this is dependent because if you say, guys, because I love pizza, does it make sense on its own? Yes or uh, no? Uh, because I love pizza. Um, well, I love pizza. Pizza. I love pizza because. If I tell you, okay, if I tell you, David, because I love pizza. Does that, is that sentence complete or incomplete? Incomplete. Oh, it is complete, right? Yes. All right. Now, if I say, uh, I, I don't. Dominos. 
What? Okay, very good. Yes. Uh, if I say, <laughs> I, I can't. Is this dependent or independent? Uh, dependent. Okay, and this, this is dependent, guys. Okay, why is it dependent? Because if I say dependent, I mean, you, I don't know, I can't, I can't what? Right, if it does uh -huh. not answer the question, what are you talking about, right? I can't. If I, come to your, if I come to your house and I ask you, hey, and I tell you, hey, I can't. What are you gonna ask me? Miguel, I can't. You're gonna say, I can't what? Exactly, I can't can what, right? You so can it is, what? <laughs> exactly, so it is a dependent clause, okay? All right, now that you have an idea, guys, so what a clause is, okay? We have relative clauses, okay? Now, a relative clause, guys, okay? A relative clause is basically a connector, okay? It is a connector, guys, a connector of clauses, all right? All right, if I say, guys, a person, dependent or independent? A person, <clears throat> dependent? Dependent, right, because hey, if I tell, mm -hmm. hey, Mr. T, a person. <laughs> right. What? right, like, uh -huh. all right, so I'm walking down person the street. I'm, I'm walking down the street, right? And, and, and all of a sudden, right, I, I see, I see, um, I see Ellie, and I say, a person. Ellie, a person. All right? <laughs> Ellie's going to be like, a person. What, what? person, right? What, what, what are you talking what? about? Right? A person what? what? All right? All right, so that is okay. So, so if it doesn't make sense on its own, guys, it is a dependent clause, okay? All right? If I see, I don't know, if I see, uh, if I see Lydia, and Lydia, I tell you, someone, Lydia, someone. Does that make sense, guys? Someone? No. No, right? Okay, so we, no. so, so, guys, if, right, so if we are missing, right, let's, let's write it down like this, okay? So if we are missing, a piece of information such as the subject. These are examples, right? Because you can use more parts, okay? Subject or noun, okay? Or the sub, I'm sorry, the subject or the verb, all right? It usually is a dependent, is it dependent, dependent, I'm sorry, dependent clause, okay? I miss this here, okay? So it's usually, guys, a dependent clause, okay? All right, so keep that in mind, guys, okay? All right, now, we can also have dependent clauses, guys, if we use the words before, right, before, after, uh, when, etc. okay? Now, this makes them dependent, okay? Because if I say, because I saw you, if I say, Mr. 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 T, if I, if I tell you, because I saw you, all right, I... Do I have a do I have a do I have a subject? Do I have a verb, guys? Yes. All right. Yes, guys, you do. Yeah. But because you're using the word because, it becomes a dependent clause because I saw you, right? Because so because I... because guys, okay. So this is it doesn't make sense, right? On its own, okay. Why is it a dependent clause, guys? All right, uh, Alejandro, why is it why is it a dependent clause? Oh. Uh, depending will be, oh. yeah. or or okay uh daisy let's go daisy <laughs> daisy 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 hi teacher yes so why is it a dependent clause remember to turn on the cameras guys okay i i know Lita, that you can't turn on the camera but uh everybody else uh, do me that favor, okay? All right, so why because I saw you is a dependent clause? Um, I don't know, teacher. Okay, so why, Mr. T? Um, uh, what are we talking about again? I'm sorry, I'm just recap why, making. Why because I saw you is a dependent clause? Uh, because you change, um, because, because it's here, it's here, guys. It's, it doesn't make sense on its own. Because it doesn't make sense on its own. Very good, okay? All right, very good. So, 
Good job, guys. Okay, now, talking about relative clauses, guys. So remember, a relative clauses, what is the purpose, guys? Why do relative clauses exist? I explained, guys. They are connectors. They are? They are connectors. Okay, they are connectors of dependent, I mean, dependent clauses and independent uh, clauses, right? Got it? So we know, guys, we know what dependent or independent, independent clauses are, okay? All right, so let me check up on you guys real quick. Okay, you got five seconds to answer. All right, Miguel, what is the difference? Uh, what is a dependent clause? A dependent clause is a clause that needs another to work. Very good, another what? Another, clause. another clause, okay, very good. David, all right, what is an independent clause? What, or oh, why? What is, what is an independent clause? Mm, they are connected? Because they are connected, very good, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, because they are connected. Because they are connect connected. <laughs> ah, an independent clause, Mr. T, pay attention, guys, all right, write down, okay. All right, Mr. T, what is, that, what is an independent clause? Why is it an independent clause? Independent. Ah, can't explain, sorry. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Miguel, what is an independent clause? Because it works on its own. Because it makes sense on its own. Okay, David, what is an independent clause? What? Independent or dependent? Independent. Uh, independent. Um, it doesn't make... I forget. <laughs> okay, Something on. like that. <laughs> so, okay, Mr. T, why why is a clause a dependent clause? A dependent clause? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. All right, Miguel Sorry. just explained it. All right, Miguel, once again, yes. why is it a dependent clause, Miguel? It's a clause that works on its own. <laughs> it's a clause that makes sense on its own, right, dependent. Mr. T? What is it? A clause. A clause. That makes sense on its on its own. Very good. Understand. Okay, that is an independent clause. Okay, Daisy. All right. So according to what we said, what is an independent? What is a dependent clause? Depending. Uh huh. A dependent clause, huh? Um. I think that this couldn't be a sentence. Okay, that this couldn't be a sentence. How so? Um. Because uh, I don't know how it uh, has a subject in the verb. Okay, but a dependent clause, I mean, an independent clause has a subject in the verb too. So what is the difference? So I, 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 I wrote it here, guys. Okay, all right, guys. Uh, do me a favor, guys. Take notes, okay? Take notes, okay? Because I, I explained that like four times already. All right, uh, just take notes, guys, and you're going to remember, okay? All right, Daisy, be ready because I'm going to ask you again, okay? Ellie, what is a, uh, what is a dependent clause? De dependent on or independent? Dependent. Uh, the words that need another words to make sense. Very good, okay? So a dependent clause needs, you know, another clause to make sense, okay? All right, mm -hmm. uh, Lydia, what is an independent clause? A group of words. With um, subject or a bear. Nice. Okay. Does it make sense or in, on its own or not? Independent clause. Yes. Okay. Very good. It does, right? Very good. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. Good. All right. So now that we know that, guys. All right. Someone. Dependent or independent? Someone. Dependent. Dependent, very dependent. good. Okay, uh, Alejandra, uh, a person, dependent or independent? That is uh, dependent. Very good. Okay, uh, what about, or is this a person, someone? If I say that guy, guys, that guy, dependent or independent? Dependent. Okay, right, because remember, guys, if it doesn't make sense, it goes like this. All right, Alejandro, imagine I see you on the street and I and I say, that guy. Do you understand what I'm talking about if I say that guy, Alejandro? Who's that guy? 
No. No, right? Okay, so if the, if it doesn't make sense on its own, guys, okay, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, then that is a dependent clause, okay? So we use them, we we uh, join them together, guys, with what we call relative clauses. What do we call these? Relative clauses. Okay, so relative clauses. What are relative clauses? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so here, guys, okay? So those groups, okay, that group of words right there, guys, okay, that is a relative clause. All right, so actually this one's right here, guys. Okay, this one's right here. All right. So now, uh, so these, these, uh, these two, I mean, these two groups of clauses, guys, who, and that is, okay, those are called relative clauses because they join, guys, they're connectors, okay? That's what I was explaining before. All right. So now, uh, help me read, uh, Ellie, help me read. Sure. Mm -hmm. You can short, shorten. Yeah, you can shorten. Shorten a relative clause by dropping the relative pronoun and the verb be. Okay, um, very good, very good, okay. All right. Well, so now, very good, okay. Uh, so the relative pronoun, guys, okay. All right, the relative pronoun is to this, 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 and this, okay? The whole thing after that is, all right, the relative clause, okay? So this right here, guys, is the relative clause, right? All of these right here, all right? Now, the verb be, guys, is right here, see? The verb to be is this one right here. So the rule says, guys, that we can shorten relative clauses by completely eliminating this, okay? So if I say, all right, so Miguel, if I say someone able to think quickly might be a good person, it's the same as saying someone who is, uh, who, uh, who is able to think quickly might be a good surgeon. Or you can say someone that is able to think, to think quickly might be a good surgeon, okay? So that means the same, all right? Yep. All right, so help me read the second example. Um, let's see, Daisy. Uh huh? An example? Yes. Uh, help me read. Just, just help me read the second example over here. Um, a real a person. Sorry, a uh -huh. person looking for adventure could be a parade detective. Very good. Okay. So, all right. So she eliminated the relative pronoun, okay? So she eliminated this right here, all right? Very good. Can I say, Daisy, a person that is looking for adventure could be a private detective? Can, can, I, use, can I use the relative pronouns? What do you think, guys? No. Yes. A yes. person that is, that is looking for, uh, for adventure a, could be a, a private detective. Yes, adventure. you can use it. Very good, guys. So, these guys, these guys right here, these you can use it. Okay? You can use it, okay? But, who but it is, is it is option. Both of them. Both of them. Okay. So you can you can use either who or that. Yes. So, right. You, you can you can, you can use. use both. Yeah. But you're not you're not gonna be able to use both at the same time. Exactly. So, okay. For example, exactly. the next one, there can be a person. Who trained in music might be a good DJ. Oh, you can say a person that is trained in music might be a good DJ. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Plus from Mr. T, guys. Good job, Mr. T. Good. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. All right. Yes, guys. You can say someone, uh, someone who likes, well, who plays music. Someone who plays music. All right, um, someone who plays music might be a good singer, okay? I don't know, someone who plays music might be a good singer, okay? So see, someone we have- who, What we about have someone, who, someone who loves to cook might become a good chef. Very good job, okay, you can say someone, all right? You can use either say someone that, that loves to cook, might mm -hmm. become a good chef, okay? However, guys, what happens here? 
All right. What is the difference between these clauses, guys? I mean, we're still using, you know, relative pronouns, right? We're using the relative pronoun who and that, okay? Mm -hmm. However, guys, what is the difference between these sentences and the ones that we have below? Can we shorten can we shorten this these sentences? What do you think? A, yeah, mm -hmm. person who plays a person who plays music might be a good singer. A person who loves cook who loves to cook might become a good chef. All right. Mm. What is what is the difference, guys? All right. So basically, what I'm asking, guys. All right, in this scenario, guys, all right, take a look at the first example, all right? Someone who is or that is able to think quickly might be a good surgeon. So I said, right, we can get rid of who and that, and we can say someone able to think quickly might be a good surgeon. Yes? All right, when I say shorten, guys, significa acortar, okay? Mm -hmm. That is the meaning of shorten, all right? Que puedes, esto es opcional, okay? So this part right here, this is optional, okay? So you either say it or you don't say it, and it is exactly the same. But what about my examples, guys? What about actually Mr. T's example? Can we shorten um, them? I think no, because if we change the word hope, I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, all right. You're right about something, but it's not because we, we haven't changed the word who. Who is the same? But what do you think? What do you think, Miguel? So think about this, about this, guys. Can you say someone, and can we eliminate this? Someone plays music, maybe no. Doesn't sounds like a. Uh, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, guys. Very good. So what is the difference, guys, between them? Why can I not? Why doesn't it make that? Why doesn't it make sense if I, you know, eliminating the ones above than the ones that we have uh, as examples from 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 the platform? Take a look at it and and uh, and then tell me. There is something that is different, guys. Yeah, you can. Um, you can you can say low in you say. <laughs> compare this, guys. Compare this versus this. What is the difference? Like, mm, doesn't have. <laughs> very good job okay the verb to be guys okay in order to be able to shorten sentences guys you have to have the verb to be you have to have the verb to be very good alejandro what do you have to have in order to uh, to shorten sentences the verb to be okay if there is no verb to be guys you cannot shorten the sentence okay so let's take a look at another example, okay? What about someone? Now let's change the example. Someone. All right. Uh, let's see, Lydia. Give me, give me an example. Everybody else, do me a favor, guys. Send me ex an example in the chat room, okay? Um, let me let me think a moment. All right. I'll let you think. I'll let you think, okay? All right. Uh, David, give me an example, David. Uh, someone who plays very good basketball. Okay, remember, David, you have to use the verb to be, right? Where, we, we, uh, who is? Very good. Someone who is? Who is? Young. Young, uh-huh. Mm, is a teacher. <laughs> someone who is young is a teacher, okay? Very good, guys. So can we say someone is young is a teacher? Now, there is another thing there, guys. All right, what is the other difference? Can I say someone is young is a teacher? Yeah. So what is the other difference there, guys? Someone who is young is a teacher. Someone, someone who is young is a teacher. Hmm. Uh, well, you didn't. We didn't use that in there. 
someone that is a teacher. Who that is a well, teacher? Well, I mean, that, that and who is the same, guys. I mean, this context is the same. You can say that is, and you can say who is. But what is different? Why can I not? Why can't I say someone who is a teacher is well, home, someone who is young, right? Who is young. Young. He's a teacher, right? Now it makes sense like this, but if we remove this, guys, someone is young is a teacher. Does it make sense? You need to remove. No, it is. It is not. It doesn't make sense, guys. So what is the other difference that we have? All right. Miguel says somebody that is able to improvise can come up with examples faster than me. Can we say somebody is able to improvise? Can come up with examples with me, that then with faster examples than me? No, we cannot. We cannot shorten that. All right. So guys, so basically, guys, it all depends on there is there is a there is a second factor, okay? The second factor, guys, is right here, okay? You see that? All right. So let's try to use. Now let's try to come up with an example, guys, using these phrases right here, okay? So after the relative pronoun, guys, okay, let's use the phrase that follows, all right? And then you're gonna, you, we're gonna come up with examples where we can shorten the relative clause, okay? All right, very good. So, uh, Mr. T, let's go. Give me another one. Someone, someone who eats healthy becomes um, someone who eats. Healthy food, Healthy food uh, becomes okay. uh, become someone who eats healthy food. All right, um, remember where is where is the verb? Where is the verb be here? <coughs> We're missing the verb be. Okay, okay. Yeah. What are we doing? Who is... Okay, so what I want you to do, Mr. T. Okay, I want you to use. The phrases that follow the relative um, pronoun, okay? Someone who is working out. Mm. Can we uh, use another subject? You can say like, someone who is working out. Let's let's try to use. Yeah, you can use a different subject. All right. So someone who is working out. Uh huh. Uh, the girl, the girl who is crying is my daughter. Can I say they say? All right. I mean, the girl who is, who is crying is my daughter. I mean, that, that, that is a good sense, okay? But can you shorten it, All right? Now, notice something, guys, okay? We can say someone who is working out, all right? Become thin. Or... Might be, all right, might be, okay, all ripped, okay? Mm -hmm, yeah. Can that, we say that, that. someone, someone working out might be all ripped? Can we say that? Yes, guys, does it mean the same? Someone working out might be all ripped. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, guys, it makes sense. Someone working out might be all ripped. So, guys, the difference, okay, the, the next difference is here, guys, okay? All right, using, guys, models, okay? Do you remember what models are? Yes. Okay, very good, okay? So, someone might be a good surgeon. Someone could be a private detective. Someone might be a good teacher, okay? All right, so let's use models, okay? We're getting closer now to the answers, okay? David, all right, so use everything, okay? Use the verb be and also let's use the models. Okay, uh, someone who is doctor could... Remember, when we're talking about job positions, we have to use the article, right? The article our and, okay? All right, so someone... Someone who is... Who is... Who is what? Uh, wait, who is doctor? Uh, remember, we have to use the article. A doctor. A doctor, <laughs> huh? So, so, a doctor. Someone who is a doctor. Doctor could do better than you. Okay. Could uh, could do better than you? Uh-huh. Better than you. Someone, a doctor. a doctor. Could, um, uh, what are we missing here? Okay, we cannot shorten that. So, what do you think? Yes, someone who is a doctor. 
All right, let's, instead of using a noun, instead of saying a doctor, let's use a verb, okay? Let's use a verb. Someone who eats healthy. Someone who is, first of all, someone who is, and then let's use another, another who verb, is, okay? No, someone who is. A bear. Yes, like take a look at this, guys, okay? After the someone verb, we is. have, okay, uh, able to think, right? Looking, trained, right? Mm. So, mm -hmm. okay, so someone, let's go. Someone, who, someone is, who is trying to learn needs to pay trying attention. Trying to learn needs to pay attention. Okay, good job. All right, applause for Ellie, guys. Woo. Good job, Ellie. All right, now, can we shorten this, guys? Can we eliminate, can we yeah. eliminate this? Yes? Someone yeah. trying to learn is to pay attention. Yes, it makes yes, sense. Yes, guys, it makes sense, yeah, okay? Makes sense. All right, now the reason it makes sense, guys, is because, again, we have a subject here and we have a verb, okay? All right, if these two guys are to work together, they make sense, okay? All right, got it? So after, guys, after we use the relative pronoun and the verb to be, we have to use a verb, okay? Yeah. Got it? All right, very good, guys. So, very good, guys. So, everybody, do me a favor. Everybody, send me an example right now in the chat room, guys. Okay, and I'm gonna be asking each of you. Okay. All right. So, David, give me one. Hi. All right. Uh, <laughs> let me think. You can also use other, other, other nouns, guys. I mean, I mean, someone, a person, are two, but you can say, can we say, you know, people? Can we say people who are, or what? that are looking? Can we say that? Yes. Okay. Can we say that, guys? Yes or not? Sure. Yes, guys. We can absolutely 100% say that. Okay. Very good. So let's talk about people. Okay, people, guys. Right. So we're talking. If I say, "Hey, Mr. T, people," does it make sense on its own? No. No. So therefore, it is. Is it dependent or independent? Dependent. It is dependent. Very good. Okay. So let's say people. Okay. People who are. Okay. Let's go, uh, David. Uh, hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People that people that are looking for a better job need to send a lot of resume. <laughs> very good. Something. Resumes. Repeat. Resume. 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 Very good. People who are. Very good. People who are looking for a better job need, need to send to send a right, better resumes, right? Better resumes. Very good, okay? All right, so guys, can I erase the relative pronoun and the verb to be here? Can I say people looking for a better job need to send better resumes? Yeah. Yes or not? Yes. yes. guys, absolutely, okay? Miguel, did you get it? Very good, Miguel. All right, save us all and give me perfect examples. Go. From the first one, right? Uh, no, you give me your own examples. No, I mean from the first time. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. I already sent one. It's a knight who's training for war is far stronger than a commoner working at the farm. Okay, a knight who is training for war is far stronger than a commoner working at the farm. All right. Very good, okay, so that is a perfect example, okay? Yes, you can eliminate uh, the relative pronoun there. Good job, Miguel. Plus for Miguel, guys. Good job, man, good job. All right, uh, David, give me another example, David. <laughs> um, let me think again. All right, while you think, Mr. Wish... T, give me an example, Mr. T. Okay. Think about your example, people, David, and then I'm going to ask. You. People, okay, okay. people who are practicing will get better job offers. People who are practicing, very good, will get, will get better job uh, offers, okay? Good job. So, guys, can I eliminate the relative pronoun here? And the subject and the, the, and the verb? Get, yes. Yes, guys, you can. Good job. Plus for Mr. T, guys. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, oh, Mr. T. David. Changes need to stay. All right, let's Wait. think about another <laughs> noun, guys. Can we use another noun? Yeah, you can say a group, guys, okay? A group of people. You can say a group of people. You can say a team. 
You can say dogs. All right. You can use whatever noun you want, guys. Okay, as long as you are able to use the relative clause. I mean, uh, the relative pronoun attached to it. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, David, let me know when you're ready. Lydia, give me an example. Lydia. I'm gonna ask each of you guys. So prepare an example. Okay. 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 Um, a person that is. Let me think. That is. That is what? A person who is eating all the time is gonna get fat. Maybe. He's gonna get fat. Okay, very good. The person that is eating or who is eating all the time is gonna get fat. Okay, so can I eliminate these guys? Yes, good job. Mm -hmm. Plus for Lydia, guys. Woo, Lydia. Very good. Ellie, let's go, Ellie. Another example? Yes. Um, a person who is going to be a policeman has a big uh, responsibility. Okay, uh, okay, so a person is going to become a cop. Become, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, has a big responsibility. Bears, you know, bears. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, a big responsibility. Okay. A person who's going to become a cop bears a big responsibility. Can I eliminate this? Yeah. Okay, hold on, guys. So, a person going to become. All right, we're gonna make an we're gonna make an exception here, guys. Okay, because now going, okay, going is actually an exception, guys. Okay, a person. No, you know what? A person going to become a cop bears a big responsibility. Uh, yeah, okay. Now, we're going to erase these guys because usually, all right, this is used, guys, with uh, going to is used with um, uh, with a continuous teacher. form of the, of, the, of, the, of the verbs, okay? Teacher, Tell can me. you explain, can you explain why we, why sometimes we, we can change um, <clears throat> that or who, or what? <laughs> you mean because, what is uh, what is the difference between what and that? It, no, um, uh, I did um, maybe the final exam. Um, the questions. Oh my god! <laughs> Tell me. Uh, I'm gonna try to. I wanna try writing it because my mind is. So empty, that's like I don't know why. <laughs> okay, all right, send me your questions, send me your questions in the chat, okay. and then I'll answer it, okay? All right, guys, okay. All right, very good, guys, very good, okay? Okay, so uh, any questions so far, guys, regarding this? Oh, you know what, hold on, I forgot. I forgot to ask. Uh, we're missing uh, Daisy, who left, and we're missing uh, Alejandra. All right, Alejandra, give me an example, Alejandra. Someone who is dancing um, a lot will be tired later. Okay, so someone, okay, very good. Someone who is dancing a lot will be very tired later. Okay, guys, so someone who is dancing a lot will be very tired later. Okay, so can I say this? Someone dancing a lot will be tired later? Yes? Sure. Yes, we can. Applause for Alejandra, guys. Good job, Alejandra. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, good job, guys. You guys are pretty smart. All right, so someone who's very, who pays attention, right, is able to understand all the time. All right, awesome, guys. Awesome. I have okay. a question. Tell me. Um, can you use a name instead of a person or someone or who, or that will be something totally different in regards to a different type of grammar piece? That's okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Good question. Uh, yes, guys, you can use, you can use any noun whatsoever. Okay. So you can say, um, all right, so let me go back here. Okay. So yes, you can say, for example, okay. Uh, 
dogs, okay? You could use dogs if you want, see? So what sentence could we make with dogs, guys? Barking. Dogs, remember, dogs that are, uh-huh. Dogs that are barking. All right, dogs who are, that are barking all the time, okay? All the time. Mm -hmm. Interfere on my learning. Interfere. <laughs> <laughs> all right, interfere with, all right, let's change the preposition there, right? With my learning. Good job, guys, okay? All right, so answering your question, Alejandra, yes, because this is a noun, see? All right. So they guys, can use, for example, like like, can, for example, instead of saying someone, can I say, um, I don't know, uh, uh, David, who no. is well, actually, yes, you teaching can. a lot or something. Yes, you can say David, who is teaching. Yeah, you can say that. Who is teaching every day. I have to raise this a little. All right. So David, right? David, who is teaching every day. What, guys? Is Give me a compliment. What? It has a lot of examples. All right. David, who's teaching all every day has a lot right has a lot of knowledge all right now let's let's <laughs> let's take a look at this guys okay can i say the david teaching every day has a lot of knowledge yes 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 okay so yes it is possible to say that okay now the only difference though is that you are gonna have to use a coma here all right david who is who is teaching every day right has a lot of knowledge, all right? There is another, this is a different, a kind of different topic, okay? Yes, you can use it, Alejandra, but it has, uh, it, you have to use, you have to use commas, right? Because these guys, yeah. all right, this is a, this is a clause right here that adds more information because here, guys, you can say, David has a lot of knowledge, right? All right, who is a teacher, right? Who is teaching every day, that is extra information. All right, but yes, Alejandro, to answer your question, yes, you can, okay, very good. All right, any other question, guys, before we move on? I run. All right, uh, Ellie says that we, why, that, okay, why we can change this and that and who for what when it doesn't make sense? <laughs> I don't understand. All right, who understands that question, guys? Help. <laughs> oh, my God. So I was trying to say, um, <clears throat> if uh, sometimes we can change that, um, what? You mean, who, you, we, can, we can interchange that. What? Because a question that we have on platform, we need to change that and who for what. So uh, I change that word for what. Uh, right. between the words like what? a connector okay but what yeah. guys what is not a relative pronoun okay maybe the question is bad but i i i did it uh, i got 100 percent and this word goes between the words okay. exactly yeah you so can you I can use what. you can use you can use what but not like this okay it is not a relative pronoun right you can't say a dog, what is barking? You cannot say a person, what is? It is not possible to say like that. In a different context, yes, all right? But it wouldn't be a relative pronoun, okay? All right, uh, I'm not sure, I not, like nothing coming off the top of my head right now. I'm gonna send, I'm gonna between. send you the question later. All right, but yeah, send me the question, okay? All right, okay. Um, good question though, good question, okay? But I don't understand what you're talking about, I'm sorry. Um, but no, you cannot usually, like here, guys, you cannot replace any, like these two relative pronouns, guys, cannot be replaced with what, okay? All right. What introduces a noun or introduces, you know, uh, a verb. So it could be, you know, um, it could be either a pronoun or it could be 
uh, it could be a, a pronoun interrogative or uh, an adverb interrogative. All right. Anyways, that's a different topic, guys. Okay. We're not going to get there right now. All right. Uh, let's see. Any other question, guys? Okay, then. All right. So let's get, okay, so tomorrow we're going to see, guys, the second way of using, you know, a reduced relative clause, right? Right now, guys, okay, let's get some practice, okay? All right. So, um, so tell me, what do you think, what you're going to practice, guys, is this question, okay? Um, you're going to practice, what do you think about professions? What do you think about X profession, okay? All right. So pretty much the answer that I want to get, guys, is, uh, hey, you know, I think that a doctor who works in the um, emergency department has a lot of pressure. A doctor working at the emergency department has a lot of pressure, okay? Engineers, right, who are able to solve, to, uh, who are able to solve very complex mathematical uh, mathematical problems are expected to become millionaires, all right? Or you can say engineers able to resolve mathematical problems, all right, are expected to become engineers. I mean, uh, millionaires, I'm sorry. All right, does, it, does that make sense, guys? Yes. Very good, okay. All right, very good, guys. So let's get, uh, let's get to work. All right. My God, a lot of people are leaving. All right, let's go. Hello, Mr. T. Hello. Okay. My phone is about to die. Um, where are we I going? 3.7 or 3.10? Mm. Um, the 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 um, the video is four point one. Mm -hmm. Oh, four point one. Okay. I yes. Little... Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. So, I think a chef. No, a chef has a lot. A chef. Hmm, we're talking about okay. Let me see that. Um, so a little more. A chef who has a lot of work has a lot of responsibilities too. Um, whoever whoever who runs a fast food business has a lot of work. Um, no, 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 I don't know. What else? Okay, we'll give you <laughs> the <laughs> nurse who are looking after children have a incredible patience. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, doctors working at night, oh, a doctor who works overnight, the next day is really tired. Um, a person working overtime gets a lot of um i don't know uh-huh uh, oh. hmm. i'm stuck in this <laughs> it's okay man it's okay right follow, just follow the same structure that we've been talking about okay good with that, I don't have a problem. Someone who works in a fast food has a lot of work. A person who delivers food gets tired at the end of the day. Um, I don't worry. I sent a I sent a message right now for everyone, not for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Um, I have a person one. who a person who is teaching uh -huh. 
needs a lot of patience. Very good job, okay? Very good. All right, that's a good example yeah. because you can say a person teaching, right, needs a lot of, needs to have a lot of patience. Okay, good job. Mm -hmm. David, let's go, David. Uh, okay. Mm. Teachers that are teaching another language are awesome people to teach. Uh, okay, are awesome people are are awesome people are awesome people to teach to teach. That, okay, uh, the last part doesn't. Make, uh? <laughs> are awesome people you mean to learn with? Con quién aprender? Or, Is that what no. you want to say? No. Teachers that are teaching another language are awesome people for teaching. Okay, are okay are awesome people for teaching. Very good. Okay. Uh huh. That's a good example. Okay. I think I think that you understood, guys. I think that you understood the topic very well. People who have great voices can become <laughs> our next singer. Very good. Okay, that is a, another perfect example. All right. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. A person. T, you a person. A person who has a little bit of acting and directing can participate in in American Got Talent. Very good job. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got it, Mr. T. You got it. And David, you got it too. Keep practicing. <laughs> Beautiful practice, girls. <laughs> Hello, girls. What's going on? I don't know what's happening with Belly. I am talking to her, but she don't answer me, so. She's not. Oh, okay. All right. Very good. Uh, I think you you understood this topic very well, Lydia. Uh, can you give me an example? <laughs> okay um with any profession whatever whatever example you want to give me okay let me think um, a person who study medicine remember uh, that you, you need the verb the verb be after the relative pronoun okay, okay. So a person who is, right? Yeah, a person who is study medicine have a good health. Very good job. All right, a person who is studying medicine has good health. Uh, yes. All right, has. very good. Very Sorry. good. Okay. All right, uh, good example, right? Uh, give me another one, Ellie. Hello. All right, so uh, give, give me another one, Ellie. Give me another example. Wait a minute. All right. Sometimes I use my headphones and my phone. Oh, okay. You're having issues. You're having issues with your audio. All right. So, all right, we do have to go back now, girls. So, we're going to go back and then we're going to continue tomorrow. Okay. All right, guys. All right, guys. So, uh, quick question, guys. So, from one to ten, how much did you understand this topic? From one to ten, eight. I already did the knowledge check. <laughs> <laughs> we need All right, that's, that's good, man. That's good. All right, David. Uh, but you gave me good examples, David. So what what how, what do you consider from one to ten? Uh, eight. <laughs> All right, very good. All right. Uh, let's see, Lydia. From one to ten, how much do you think that you understood this topic? Um, eight. Okay. Why is everybody saying eight? What is what is not letting you get a ten? <laughs> 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 Fine, I'll say nine then. <laughs> All right, perfection. Nine point five. Nine. <laughs> nine point five. All right, no, according to the examples that you gave me, you didn't understand. So, All right, so very well, very well done, guys. Tomorrow, guys, we're going to continue with the second part of this. All right. Um, so, anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed. And uh, please do not miss, do not miss, miss la, la, la. do not miss the class tomorrow. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll be waiting for you guys. Oh, no, not tomorrow, guys. What's tomorrow? Today is Thursday. Monday. Yeah. Good job. Monday. 
All right, go go to go to um, what is the the name of this place? Go to La we're Taberna going, or something, you know. We're <laughs> going to the we're going to the club tomorrow. <laughs> All right, very good. You're going to the club tomorrow, okay? Go All shout right, it. It's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good, guys. I have to leave you because I have another classic coming, guys. Love you all, guys. Have Thank you very much. Okay. Have okay. a good, have good night. I'll see you on Monday. <laughs> see you on Monday.